Are you a fan of the metaverse? Do you like NFTs? One day, do you plan on launching a token of your own? Or do you just love money? Well, if you're like me, then you're a fan of all of the above. And this is why MetaWeb3 is here to make a change in today's metaverse space. What up world, it's your boy West Chase, two threes, no E's, and I'm back with another banger. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at a brand new token. The name of this token is called MetaWeb3. Now, this token has not yet launched, but I did get the opportunity to hop in on the pre-sale. So hopefully, at launch, it goes on to do 100X, 200X, and I'm able to get some good profit. I was in talk with some of the developers. Um, I believe I was speaking to a dude named Billy, but we never got a chance to get on FaceTime. I was busy that morning, and he was busy that evening, so we just never got around to working something out. So hopefully, he sees this video and we're able to work something out for the future. But that's neither here nor there. Without further ado, Chase fam, let's dive in. As you can see, we are live on the official website, MetalWeb3.Finance. Develop your own Web3 dApp and let people connect their wallets to your website. Launching on Uniswap starts in 15 hours, 34 minutes and 44 seconds. And if you scroll down here, they got the link. If you want to get started, it actually takes you straight to their Telegram page. So this is where you want to go if you want to get involved with the community. If you are looking to invest into MetaWeb3, all you do is click this link here right on their website and it actually takes you to Uniswap. From there, you would import the tokens, connect your wallet and swap Ethereum for MetaWeb3. Now, if you want to go to the launch pad, you can click right here where it says Launchpad and it says MetaWeb3 Launchpad. MetaWeb3 is trying to reduce the scams and crypto. That's why we are here to introduce MetaWeb3 Launchpad as a safe launchpad for a legit and safe food projects only. So that's a great purpose already. Already I'm seeing that MetaWeb3 has a lot of utility. Um, so hopefully the developers follow through on all these goals, man, because this really looks like an interesting project. Now, requirements to create a launchpad on the MetaWeb3 are KYC, audit minimum for marketing is thirty thousand dollars and a safe food dev meta web 3 will start partnerships with other projects directly after launch phase one will be launching projects on pink cell phase two will be launching projects on meta web 3 launchpad investors that are holding nfts will automatically be whitelisted into these projects to get the opportunity to buy into these pre-sales before anyone else so they do have a perks of purchasing their NFTs. If you're holding the NFT, you get onto a white list. From there, you're able to get in on the pre-sales earlier than anyone else. That is real, real dope. So, so far, I'm really liking what I see. As you can see for the audit here, they have an audit through Interfi Network, um, Smart Contract Security Audit of MetaWeb3. And right here, they have the white paper. You can click on the white paper if this is a project um, that you really want to know more about, you can come through and really do an in-depth read and research and do your own due diligence and see if this is the project for you. And like I said, everything so far looks legit. But hey, what do I know, man? You wouldn't believe how many rug pulls that I've seen around in this cryptocurrency space, man. So you got to be very, very careful. Um, they are KYC'd, so that's also good. And it says... um. Know your customer. Projects that are listed in this list are privately KYC'd and doxxed to the MetaWeb3 team. In case of any scams, we will be publishing their identities and their pictures on our platforms. Now that's pretty dope. So if anyone is trying to get you scammed or run any kind of scams, they will go ahead and notify that person's identity to the world uh, and we'll be able to see this person hopefully pay for what they're doing at the end of the day. We consider a project is a scam. If they exist, scam in one of these ways. Sell tokens, rug pull, disable trading, or honeypot. Let's click on the NFTs here. I'm really digging those NFTs, man. That 333 NFT series looks real, real serious, man. Hopefully this MetaWeb3 thing could pop off big, man. The graphics are dope. Oh, man, it's about to go crazy, man. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. MetaWeb3 Army, quality over quantity. That's why in the MetaWeb3, we decided to use some help of the community. 333 NFTs, hey, my lucky number three. What's happening? What's up with the partnership? What's going on, MetaWeb3? Um, NFTs in a MetaWeb3 Army, 
an army that is formed by 333 soldiers to lead our project to the highest level. Every soldier of these 333 soldiers will be concerned as a part of the MetaWeb team. NFT holders equal MetaWeb 3 soldiers. MetaWeb 3 soldiers have a lot of responsibilities for the project to keep it growing, spread it everywhere, mint your MetaWeb 3 NFT, and join our army. The only reason why projects like Safe Moon and Shiba Inu reach many billion dollars in market cap is because they're strong and united community that's why in the meta web 3 we are aiming to build one of the best strongest and biggest communities in the crypto space that sounds real real dope man if you're really interested in this project man really slide through do your own due diligence um i think that's gonna wrap it up for this video man hopefully we clinch this partnership with meta web 3 and i'm able to do videos for this project daily um good luck to all you investors who plan on investing in meta web 3 um and i think that's gonna wrap it up for this video man stay tuned if you missed the ama from earlier today i will be posting it at the end of this video and like i always say man invest today retire tomorrow it's your boy west chase two threes no ease and don't forget we launching tomorrow 1600 utc april 7th it is going down please remember to invest wisely and never risk more than you're willing to lose your dog west chase and i'm out long time now in marketing i know how things work uh me personally i think it's best to do the marketing before the launch because you know some people just don't like to wait uh, you know like if you tell them there is a good lunch tomorrow yeah, so yeah, there exactly. is a lunch, mm -hmm. yeah in two hours then might, they might you know be interested and join because they know it's now it's live it's you know the hype is real and everything so that's what we have been planning for doing marketing the last three days for tomorrow and we have big big names calling us actually so if you are in any channel any crypto channel in the telegram then i'm sure you're gonna hear meta three everywhere like in the really really uh big channels you know the one that's impossible to get because as you all know meta three is a legit project not like a regular pump and dump project or a scam or anything so this is a really long-term project we actually convinced everyone to call out us and talk about us and even some of them offered to call us for free because they know it's you know like a positive thing for this uh, for the investors to join us because they know that we are legit uh, i've been working with a lot of channel owners before so they know me they trust me when i tell them about the project they don't even need to do any research about it because they know they if i am bringing them a project then it's safe you know and that and that's also one thing you need to learn about me i would never work with any project if it wasn't safe uh you're gonna see me now you're gonna see me in 100 years <laughs> i will be working with many projects none of them will be uh scam or not safe at all i only work with safe project i have my own ways to find out if the project is real or not but yeah guys uh that's the marketing uh plans everyone will be calling us tomorrow big names everything i know the last two days have been calm for us but it's because we have you know we have a lot of pressure on the real job starts tomorrow <laughs> exactly tomorrow yeah. gonna be crazy tomorrow gonna be crazy everyone gonna see meta everywhere uh, and for the marketing guys i have uh, booked more than 30 channels to call us we won't share all of them because you know if we share every one of the channels then it will be like you want to be able to read them all so we will only share the big ones that we think are really big and really hard to get so you don't need to worry about marketing guys since i'm handling the marketing then trust me it's safe the marketing is safe everything will be good on launch and yeah most important thing don't forget this is a long-term project not a pump and dump if you actually joined us to join just you know get your profits in a pump and dump then you are in the wrong place we are not here for this we need real investors who really uh believe in the project and yeah who believe in the idea of the project and wants to you know complete with it because this project is a long-term project where it aims to bring a huge community together uh it's a launch pad after all so we will just discuss other projects as well and as i was understand from the team they are planning to do the first pre-sale on from the meta web 3 launch pad which will be held on pink sale launch pad uh like one or two weeks after the launch this pre-sale will be for another project it's not uh it's not a project for meta web 3 but it will be a partner with meta web 3 
I might handle the marketing for them as well. But that project will be uh, that pre-sale will be different from MetaWeb3 pre-sale. That pre-sale will be with a low hard cap. So the hard cap there will, might be a hundred or a fifty Ethereum only, which means that the project might actually do ten or twenty x in the first day. We believe our project MetaWeb3 might do it as well, but it will be you know with two hundred seventy Ethereum. It's harder to do it than 50 ethereum or 100 ethereum so that project will be first launching as i said in the first one or two weeks on pincel the nft holders of meta web 3 will be whitelisted to buy that pre-sale first as you all know the nft minting will start after launch that exact time haven't hasn't been announced yet but it will be announced by the team of course and after the whitelist users uh, buy in the pre-sale in like five or ten minutes, other investors will be able to buy that preset, which is for, for a new project. So that's the plan for now. As I said, also for the marketing, I have big plans for tomorrow. We believe Coin Market Cap and Coin Jaco will be in 24 hours, 48 hours from launch. So yeah, I think everything here is safe. Everything is good. Everything is ready to move. Do you have anything to add, Sophie? Yeah, exactly. And uh, guys, be prepared for tomorrow. It's going to be huge. Yeah, of course. So, yeah, guys, as I said, don't be worried if you see the chat a little bit quiet today. It's just because we are preparing everything for tomorrow. We haven't really uh, had any channels going on us today or yesterday because we saved them for the lunch day. On the lunch day, we have like we have spent a huge amount of money on this marketing for tomorrow and also we still have a lot more to spend over uh, after the lunch i mean uh, we're planning also to do dex tools trending that might happen on lunch uh, it's not 100 percent sure to get it because it has some requirements but i think we have all these requirements so we believe that dex tools trending will be on lunch as well uh, and also we're trying to do cmc trending once we are listed on cmc so yeah guys i've been telling you for a long time now this is a long-term project uh, if you are an investor here showing this project because i called it trust me it's a safe project it's a long-term project uh, so yeah that's everything i have to say about the marketing if you have guys any question just feel free to ask i'll take the first question from artopos go ahead and speak artopos mr rocket you can unmute yourself and speak sorry can you hear me now yeah, now we hear you. Yeah, sorry, yeah, guys. sorry about that. Really sorry. No. But uh, my friend told me about you guys, so I just wanted to join the voice chat to learn more about you guys. And if you could just yeah. give a brief summary of, of who you guys are and, and what you do and, uh, you know, what your project is all about, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah, I can answer that. Uh, so first, I will go with myself. My name is people. I have my own marketing channel. Uh, I have been running marketing for many projects before. I have been hired by Metal 3 team to do their marketing for the launch and hopefully be their partner in their new project that they're launching on the launchpad. So Metal 3 is basically a launchpad, a future launchpad that's going to launch very soon uh, with a goal to only launch uh, legit projects that are 100% safe and 100% uh, you know, safe from all sides. If you check the website, they have some requirements for projects to, to launch on Metal 3 launchpad. So the main idea is to only launch a uh, good project that they think they it might, it might like to 10 or 100 X. So this is a different idea from any other launchpad. Uh, and also they have some requirements to join this pre sale just like, you know, if you want to be whitelisted, then you need to hold an NFT. Uh, so yeah, that's the project itself. You can check everything on website, on the white paper. And the team are from, you know, we have Sophie here, we have Billy as well, they have been on all yes. the before. Mm. Also, like, um, this project, like, uh, the coins will be used in the metaverse for for NFTs, for play-to-earn games, and, uh, you know, all the, lots of stuff's coming in. Yeah. Do you have anything else, Rocket? Uh, that sounds really great. Um, would you consider the project like a DAO? Or, or who yeah. makes this on the projects? It is, it is something like that because the, as the project is in two phases, phase one will be on Pink Cell, where Metal 3 will launch projects on Pink Cell, 
But in phase two, it will be on uh, the launch pad that they are launching, which is Meta Week 3 launch pad. So in phase one, it will be that NFT holders will be whitelisted to buy first, and then everyone else will be able to buy. But once we list on the, you know, once we have our own launch pad, Meta Web 3 launch pad, then it's going to be in three steps. Step one, NFT holders will be able to buy. Step two, uh, the token holders will be able to buy. And then step three, everyone else will be able to buy in this preset. So it's like a DAO, yeah, but it might have some different ideas, uh, good ideas, because the team here are really smart. They will make it in a way that, you know, this project will really be benefits by it. And we will see the price skyrocket, you know, because of this idea that they will be using. So right now we are focusing on the NFTs because we believe NFTs might, uh, you know, be very, very valued in the future. So let's say, for example, this project really launch a project which does like 20 or 100 X. Then everyone will be rushing to get their own NFTs because they know that the NFTs are very rare and they give them the chance to get exactly. these presents. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this will give a huge value for the NFTs. There are only 333 NFTs. Uh, yeah, so that's the beginning. And then they will also have some other requirements, like holding the token, such, yeah, such things, you know. Anything else? Uh, the initial, the uh, initial minting of the NFTs, is that going to be from your website or OpenSea or, you know? It's, go it's going to be, uh, be from the website. Yeah. Any idea how much initial mint will cost? Uh, it is 0 0.1 yes. What you do? Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so yeah, guys, as I told him, I'm telling you again, uh, this is a launch pad with a huge idea. You know, other projects, I've been seeing a lot of projects launching on Uniswap, on PancakeSwap. Most of them die after like one week, one month, two months, three months. But in this scenario, in this project, I don't actually think this project will die because it will keep working. It will keep bringing new projects to the investors. Uh, it will build its own launch pad. So it's like a long term project, you know, and everyone will be benefits from it. Uh, so you can take the next from question from Desco here. Go ahead, Desco, you can unmute yourself and speak. Yeah, what's up? Uh, my question was like, uh, you said uh, you will have you will have uh, NFTs on your website, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, will it be just three hundred and thirty thirty three, or will it be more? Will you make more? Like, will no, it will be three hundred and thirty three forever. Uh, so yeah, that's the goal. So if we keep it a low supply of the NFTs, then we want the NFT value to be really, really high in the future, you know? We want mm -hmm. everyone who's holding NFT being, you know, really impressed about Because I have seen a lot of NFTs, actually, but I'm not convinced with that they have real utility. Uh, you know, they, they say something like, okay, your NFT makes you play a game. But we all know people are buying NFTs without playing any game with them. They're only buying them because they want to sell the That's fireplace, right. you know? Mm -hmm. But in this case, you know, these NFTs will give real value for the holders. Because, you know, knowing this is a project that can do like 100x or 10x, we sure want to be in this project, in this pre-sale. Mm -hmm. you know, of course, we can buy on launch, but on pre-sale, it's safer, it's, you know, better, it's cheaper. So NFT will be really valued here. Yeah, so it's no chance or you will never make like more than uh, this NFT? Mm -hmm. No, 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 that's impossible because if we do like, let's say if we do like 5,000 NFTs, then we can't have 5,000 whitelist. If we have 5,000 whitelist, then there is no need for the whitelist because everyone will be buying. We want the 333 to make sure that everyone who's having NFT are able to buy on the whitelist. Okay. Okay. Uh, and my question is like, why uh, exactly is a number 300, like 333? Like, where did you make it? You guys, uh, that's, uh, yeah, I don't think that's any, you know, there is any reason. It's just, I think it's, me, myself, I think it's a lost number. It's a good yeah. one. And also, it looks better than 300, 333, three, three, much better, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, and uh, uh, so, okay, nice. But you said uh, here before, uh, like, one NFT will be worth uh, 0 0.1 Ethereum, right? Will all no, of them uh, be, like, same price? 
so basically an NFT in the lunch and the minting of the NFTs, uh, the price will be 0 0.1. So let's say everyone bought their NFTs for 0 0.1 and the 333 NFTs are all held by investors. Then you're going to decide what price you want to list your NFT for. So if no one wants to sell their NFTs and only you want to sell, then you can sell it for two Ethereum and someone might buy it. You know, you will decide the price you want to sell it for. Mm. So, yeah, that's what I think is the difference here between this NFT and other NFTs. So, because as I said before, let's say our first project that launched on the launch pad does a 10x or 100x, then everyone wants to buy NFTs, right? Yeah. Yeah, and everyone who having NFTs, they don't want to sell them because they know that they have the chance to get 10x or 100x. So it might be that no one wants to sell and everyone wants to buy. And you having an NFT, you might sell it for 10 Ethereum, you know, if someone really, really wants it and nobody else wants to sell. So that's the idea of the, you know, being very low supply, 333, real value and everything. Uh, and will will these people who did like uh, buy meta web coin uh, three bef uh, before uh, they launch like uh, tomorrow uh, have the ability to uh, buy the nft before the people who didn't buy it before the launch uh, so they won't there won't be any different but on the pre-sale itself if you are only holding the nft without holding any tokens then you won't be able to join the, uh, the pre-sale that being held by Meta Web3. So even if they buy, they won't be, you know, using it. So they have to sell it, like, you know. Mm, okay. So everyone will be able to buy, but uh, it's really not because I believe everyone who's buying NFT are really holders from the Meta Web3. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, thank you for the answer. Thank you, Jessica. Okay, guys, I will take that question. We have Yeah, I will. Okay, Reginald, you can come to yourself and speak. Hey, uh, El Depo, uh, El Vipo. Um, just doing yeah, my research, yeah, yeah. seems like doing good. Just doing my research, um, you know, I looked at, you know, past projects that you did marketing for, and you, you, you're really good at what you do. Uh, I just, you know, I want to uh, congratulate you on that. Um, Thanks. However, I just want to know, is the, the, the team... Are they doxed to you? Are you? Are they doxed to you, or are you? Actually, you, yeah, yeah. They, they, are they are doxed because yeah. For me, I, I'm not enough with the KYC. I think KYC is a safe option, of course, but I also like to see the face of the people I'm working with. So before working with any project, I make sure that the team are doxed to me. That's for okay. Sure. And the, and the next question: Would there be somebody available? Because on launches, there is always an issue with claiming coins and from mm -hmm. from Pink Cell or or Polio or whatever. Um, yeah. Will there be someone available to assist uh, pre-sale investors before the launch um, that can't claim tokens if there's an issue with Pink Cell? Uh, so first of all, uh, I have I have been with many projects before. I've seen many projects before. Uh, the project that have any fails with the pre-sale or anything like that, uh, usually they are not professional. You know, they have been doing their first pre-sale. So I'm not expecting any error to happen on the launch. But in case anything happened, of course, the team will be very active on the, uh, me as well, you know, we all will be active on the launch. Maybe for me, I'm telling you from now, once we launch, my, I might not sleep in the first, you know, 24 hours. I will be actively marketing, helping investors. So the whole team will be available, you know, on launch, uh, helping our investors, helping everyone, uh, managing the chat. So yeah, I'm expecting the first 24 hours at least that we all are active and, you know, helping our investors. All right, last question. I'm not going to hold you up. So will yeah. we, will the, will the pre-sellers be, be getting their, can we claim our tokens one minute before launch? Or as soon as it launches on Uniswap, that's when we claim our tokens. Mm. As soon as it launches, because yeah, because uh, the launch is once the liquidity are added to, is added to the liquidity pool, and you can't claim the tokens before the liquidity is added. You know that's like a rule in the preset. 
So yeah, it will be on launch exactly. There is where everyone will be able to claim, everyone will be able to buy, everyone will be able to sell. So yeah. So soon, After so soon as it so soon as it soon as it hit the liquidity hits Uniswap, exactly. then it, it it releases our token simultaneously. Yeah, exactly. All you have to do connect your wallet to Pink Cell and click on the claim button. So it's, it's pretty much like. Okay, it's pretty much like uh, buying buying it on launch day, but you're okay, just basically exactly. yeah. Okay, exactly. Okay, exactly. I mean, how much Ethereum, Ethereum for the gas? Is it is it is it how much Ethereum is it usually for uh, pink sale? Uh, I think it's around. It's not more than hundred, you know. So it might be like between thirty and eighty, something like that, you know. Me personally, yeah. I always like I always like to have zero point one Ethereum in my wallet. That's for emergency because uh, it never, you know, it, it's never more than one uh, zero. Yeah, it's never Ethereum. enough with the gas fees, you know. Mm. I like to keep okay because because I've heard of other launch pads. Uh, a theory, uh, it can be like nine grand or eight grand in 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 gas fees. I've heard of, I've heard of that though. I've, I'm I've heard of that. So I just want to make sure. Yeah, it's not one of those type deals where we can't even get the claim the coins. If if you have in like if you tell that the uh, fees are eight grand or seven grand, then there is something fair, you know. Don't don't uh, complete the transaction because there is something wrong. Uh, ask the team, tell them why is it like that, and they will you know explain or fix the problem, you know. Because usually it's not more than hundred or two hundred, you know. That's the maximum, like. So yeah. If it shows, that's good. Thank you. It's more just ask. Yeah. Thank you. Any more question? Uh, okay, we're gonna take the next question here from from zero. Be gone. You can unmute yourself and speak. Okay. Um, I have three questions. The first one is: um, What are the sales tax? For tomorrow, hmm. somebody wants it's to gonna sell. be six percent. Six percent on okay. buy and okay. sell. Gotcha. And then, um, do you have the contract posted somewhere? Yeah, already? of course, of course. Uh, if you just click on, if you write contract on the, it's actually shown right now in the chat. If oh, you okay. check the chat, we have the contract and the project is verified by Etherscan. You can see the logo of the project. You can see the website link, the Telegram, the Twitter, everything. So okay. I think it's actually rare to have a verified project yeah. before launch. But yeah, we have it here. Yep. And and the last question is, um, so you, your token is sort of like a launch pad, right? To, to launch to help upcoming uh, coins. Yeah. Um, yeah. You, you may have answered this already, but do we um, as holders of this coin do we get like first dibs on their pre-sales these upcoming coins is that how it works uh you mean if you get like early access or yeah yeah because yeah. you'll be helping new coins coming up right yeah and then when they launch so do we get priority yeah to get into yeah. them so our nft holders we have uh, automatically whitelist into the pre-sales that being held by metaweb3 launchpad and then oh. the rest of the investors will be able to buy, you know. Gotcha. So you're referring to these so. 333 NFTs? Yeah, exactly. Ah, so those are very limited then. So you want to get your hands exactly. on those? Yeah. I see. And they're launching tomorrow as well after the lunch. It might be delayed for the next day after lunch. Uh, the exact time will be announced on our Twitter and Telegram. So yeah, that's the whole point. If you're holding an NFT, then you will get the whitelist. And then, of course, we will also have, you know, like a giveaway for some investors to join this whitelist yeah. as well. But it will be very limited, like five or ten maximum. You know. So the main okay. thing is the NFTs is here. Gotcha, guys. So we got to keep our eyes out on when these NFTs are launching. And you said yeah. sometime tomorrow after the coin. Yeah. So just keep your eyes on the launch. We will announce it there. Awesome. And, and, and where do we get these NFTs? Through the open sea? Uh, through the website, we have actually an NFT button there. If you click on it, then you can okay. connect your wallet. Uh, yeah, on the launch, gotcha. it will be available. Okay, yes. thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good time. Uh, we have another. Yeah, Hello, you hear me? 
Yes, we hear you, Jeff. Let's go. Okay, okay, good. Um, so, uh, do you have like uh, contact with like uh, people who are gonna do ads for your new new token, like uh, marketing or like something like this? Hello. Yeah, yeah. Can you reformulate your question, please? I can, I can answer it, uh, Sophie. Uh, I was talking actually, but I was muted, so I will ask, uh, answer it again now. Uh, I have already been working on the marketing, on the channels, and everyone, but they all will share uh, and will call us tomorrow before the launch. So none of them have actually shared us today or yesterday. They all will be sharing us tomorrow before the launch. Okay, and you, you're gonna uh, and the NFT will it be released uh, tomorrow? Yeah, it might be tomorrow or the day after. You know, we will announce it on the Twitter and on our channel as well. Uh, the exact time of meeting, you know, because we don't want to launch it exact time on the launch because it will be like uh, people will not know if they want to buy the token or the NFTs. So first the token will launch, and then the NFT will launch. Okay, and you're gonna release all your NFT at, at the same time? Yeah, yeah. So it's the first who buys, first one gets the tokens, you know. But it can happen like this, like one person gets in and he can buy all of your NFT at the no, same time? No, no, one, one wallet can buy one NFT only. Ah, so, okay, so, okay, that's good, that's good. Yeah, because we think it's, you know, other NFTs that are doing that one wallet can mean like 10 or 20 NFTs, but here we think it's very rare so that's why one wallet can only mint one NFT. Okay, thank you for the chance for everyone. Yeah, yeah. thank you, Gisna. Thank you. I have I have one more question. Um, yeah, uh, people. Uh, so, so this energy to release uh, the marketing the day of. Have you has have you tested that in the past? Is that your strategy that you use uh, for other projects, or is this is this yeah. something that you're testing out? No, that's that's my strategy for you know for a long time now. Because uh, let's just say that we did the marketing today and the launch is tomorrow. Then, if you had like hundred investors who check that post, maybe twenty of them will be like interested in joining us, you know. But if we are sharing the post like two or three hours before the launch, then I think these hundred investors, every one of them will be joining us because they know, you know, they will. They don't need to set a reminder for the launch. They know it's in two hours, you know. They know that it's now, it's happening now. So I've tested this. I've tested actually all kind of marketing. So that's why I know what's the best, you know, to use. And yeah, I think this is the best actually. When you say channels, are, are you saying YouTube channels or, or just all different marketing, 30 plus different marketing channels? Uh, so it's different from Telegram to Twitter. Uh, as for YouTube, they are coming after lunch, you know, because after lunch we'll be having a huge community, I believe, after CMC listing and everything. But we're already in touch with some YouTubers. We want to choose the best, you know. We already have a YouTube video out. I believe you saw it. But yeah, we have plans to do more YouTubers, you know. So for now, we are doing Twitter and uh, Telegram. There we think most of the investors, uh, big investors are in Telegram and Twitter, you know. And these 30, 30 plus, do you know the reach that has the, uh, as far as those subscribers and for all those YouTubers, uh, all those tele, uh, Twitter and uh, Telegram, what, what is your current reach with those 30 plus uh, channels? What is your current? Current reach of what? Of channels or of the money you mean? Or no, no, the, like, uh, you have, you, you know, 30 different channels yeah. and they, they, how many subscribers in, for each, okay. do you have that number? Like, uh, like that number. So what is it total, total up to be? Okay. The total will be a lot, you know, cause some of them ha might have like 6,000, you know, and some of them have hundred thousand, hundred K on Twitter. Some of them have a half million or maybe a million. I don't know, but you know, investors might be in the same channels but if an investor see a project in all the channels then he will have more attention of this project you know if he only see it in one channel so we are focusing on you know sharing this project as much as possible so that investors 
can see this project everywhere. They go to cool. Twitter, they see it, they go to Telegram, they see it. So yeah, that's the strategy we're using. All right, cool. You made me more comfortable today after talking to you about marketing. <laughs> yeah. You made me more comfortable. I, th I thank you. Yeah. Because yeah. people in the group saying some saying, saying things, but they don't know what you're doing in the background. Yeah, of course. We have been working really, really hard all the calls. I've, I have been sleep yesterday, you know, but yeah. So that's my strategy. Everyone will be calling us tomorrow. Or as I said before, we will be sharing the big ones. Um, the small ones, we don't need actually to share them because we don't need, uh, we need your attention on the big ones, that's why. Cool, no, thanks. So, like, um, people, like, the, I see that people, like, co co coming in and causing fud, you know, and speaking, I don't know about, uh, like, speaking, uh, like, bad about the project and, like, don't listen to these people. If you have questions, ask the admin, or the admin will answer you or LVP will answer you and you will have the precise answer. Yeah, Because there exactly. will always be people causing fud in, in the group. Exactly. So, so yeah, and uh, we can have actually the, another question from Zero Brain again. Uh, you can unmute yourself and speak again. Yes, um, going back to the pre-sales of the upcoming coins that you're gonna be assisting, um, obviously we need to have the NFT and I'm assuming we need to be a holder of the MetaWeb 3 also, correct? Yeah, yeah, exactly. How much of the MetaWeb 3 do we need to have? Is there a limit, like a uh, criteria? The exact limit will be, uh, you know, will be announced after lunch or before the pre-sale to make sure okay. that the price is, you know, uh, is good for everyone. We don't want like something impossible. And as a thing that we don't something that's very low. Yeah, so I, mean, I just want to buy enough an right now, you know, during yeah, the launch when it's uh, cheap, so I can have it for the future. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So it will be announced later. Okay, thanks. Yeah, and take question here from Granny. Welcome. Can I meet yourself and speak, Granny? Hey, uh, so this is just kind of going to be a follow up to the speaker, Reginald. Um, mm -hmm. In my experience, I've been in quite a few pre-sales and I pretty much learned a lot about them through YouTubers. Um, I haven't been on Twitter that long, so I know it's a lot of people that are not on Twitter that wouldn't even know about a launch unless they're getting it from YouTubers. So I know when you guys are, you guys are coming up with a new project, so maybe um, you might want to put a little bit more focus into getting YouTubers on, on board because I promise you that that helps a lot with these launches. Um, because it's a whole bunch of people that are really not on Twitter at all, especially on Telegram. I just joined Twitter back in November. So I think that would, this is not full, but it would just be my concern tomorrow when, when you guys launch, if enough people will even know about the launch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got you. Uh, you might be right, you know, but for me, I think that investors who buy the project from YouTube, uh, they're only buying it as an investment as you know they don't need to learn about the project but if someone really are in the project and wants to learn about everything about the project then they really need to be updated on everything it's really hard to keep everyone updated on youtube because we have new updates every minute every hour you know and that's yeah, really hard to keep updated you know, on youtube uh, there is uh, almost no project that done this you know so to keep updated with all the info that the project is posting you either need to be on the telegram or the twitter and in the future it will also have a discord channel as well but for the youtube it's only kind of you know one time promotion from a guy who's a youtuber talking about the project but he can't up keep updating us you know about everything he might update us on the big events but the small ones and the you know the, that's hard to keep updated to so you really need to be with twitter and telegram to learn about everything and of course we have plans for youtubers in the future after the launch uh, it's hard to do it before the launch now uh, we have someone that's gonna call us after the launch directly on youtube so yeah that's how it works here in the in a crypto project you know okay well i'll say this is my last statement 
Um, mm. I knew that the YouTuber uh, Teddy Ganja he spoke about the coin yesterday because he had he was a, he invested in the presale. And mm -hmm. um, another YouTuber, Austin Austin, it was quite a few people asking him about your project that, you know, that was interesting. I think, I'm, ass I'm assuming these are free sellers as well. So just let you know that, you know, people that are already in this token are putting the word out through YouTube. Do you, that yeah, know that, about. that sounds that sounds actually very good. Do you yeah. mind sending me links of these two YouTubers so I can check them out? And, yeah. Uh, okay. Hopefully, I can get them to make a video about us. You know my username; it's Elvipo. Uh, send me some links so I can check them. You know. I sure will. Thank you. Uh, That's yeah. Question. Can, can you send them Adam, Adam Sheldon's number uh, handle as well? Or I can do that. Shelter is the top guy that he will tell you to just say, "Hey, this token is launching," and a lot of people just jump on the bandwagon. So. Mm -hmm. Definitely a good yeah. on that one, Reginald. Okay. Definitely, yeah. You want you want to do it? You want you want to do it? Or you want me to do it? No, you can do I, it. I'll send them Teddy. Okay. All right. Thank okay, you. I'll send them Adams. Okay, bye. Okay, thank you, guys. I will also add something here, guys. Uh, for me, as a marketer for a project, I've been in marketing for a long time now. I'm getting like a hundred plus uh, messages every day from people who wants to do fake marketing for the project. You know. They might ask for 10k, 1k, but they not really affected. So I don't trust anyone unless they are investors of a project. So if anyone of a project comes to me and tells me, okay, I'm investing in this project and I want you to do like this, this, I think it's good, then I will take it in a different, you know, uh, view because I will know he's investing in a project. He wants what's good for the project. And I trust him. So I really appreciate it, guys. You can always come to me and tell me about the. Uh, ideas you have about marketing and everything and I'm very very happy to hear that from you and I will look into them directly because if someone I don't know comes to me and tell me okay this guy is good if he's not investing in a project why should I listen to him but I really appreciate you all guys uh, that's how a good community a good project uh, launch so yeah just send me links and I will check into them thank you guys we'll take the next question here from Leo G Leo G, can I need to share if I speak? Yeah, hey. Um, Hello, yes. what's up? Me? Yeah, um, the, the note of marketing. Now, I've been on um, different teams in the crypto space, um, including Saitama, um, yeah. in different groups, and we've done polls. And by far, the most people come in through Twitter. While YouTube is more or less a new avenue for crypto for people to get into crypto the, the influencers in that space are now gaining ground but twitter is the place to be i mean i don't know if you know of some of the recent coins like banana task force eight um one of their main strategies is to try to get twitter verified um you know twitter is where a lot of information comes out in regards to um, crypto so that is the main marketing area right now at least exactly yeah i know and uh, tomorrow also we have some big names calling us verified profile uh famous influence you know calling us tomorrow before the launch so yeah but that's good also to think about i would put some more focus on the twitter actually so yeah thank you Luigi. i'll take that in mind do you have anything else to say or maybe or ask? No, no, that was it. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, okay, we take the next one here from Kevin. Go ahead, Kevin, you can unmute yourself and speak. Yes. Okay, what, what time will we be able to claim our tokens? It will be on launch directly. So once we launch, you are able to claim them. And it's at uh, 16 UTC, exactly, tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, anything else? No, I'm just looking forward to it. Yeah, we are. Thank you. I have a... Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, you can have again, Kevin. I need to do by this thing, right? We don't hear you, Kevin. You need to unmute yourself again. Yeah, I was going to say, could you send me your link and I'll send it to another person who might can do a YouTube, uh, Mr. Bird uh, Show? Yeah, if you have anything, just send me a link on my profile, you know, Elvipo. Okay, who am I talking to? Elvipo. 
Okay. Yes. Thank you. Anything else? No, that's good. All right. So, yeah, guys, that's everything for today. I actually have to leave right now because I'm still having some marketing that I need to do for tomorrow. Uh, so I'm expecting a very crazy and huge day tomorrow. Hopefully, hopefully doing some good profits out there. Uh, for people who didn't buy the pre-sale, you haven't missed anything. The launch is going to be, you know, good as well. Same price on launch as pre-sale. So, yeah, guys, if you missed the pre-sale, don't be afraid. You can just buy in the launch. People who bought in the pre-sale, they didn't buy to dump this project. They actually believe in the project, believe in everything. So, we expect this to really, you know, be really far, long-term project, everything. So yeah, that's everything for today, guys. I'm gonna leave you now. Uh, the chat will be open. I'll go ahead and do my marketing uh, yeah, for tomorrow. So thank you everyone for being here. And see you tomorrow. We're gonna have a thank voice you, chat Abby. before wow. the lunch. Yeah, thank you, Sophie. We're gonna have a voice chat see tomorrow guys, before the see lunch. See you tomorrow, I will be here. Yeah, voice chat before the lunch. It's gonna be huge. Everyone will be joining us, new investors, everything. And I'm just going to tell you one thing. We need the chat to be really hyped for these new investors that are going to join us tomorrow. We don't want them to join and check the, you know, the chat and see it quiet or dead. You are the investors now. You are the, it's your responsibility to be active in the chat and answer these new investors, you know. Uh, give them some hope, everything. That's everything I have to say. Thank you, guys. Strong community is tomorrow. the key. Yeah. Yes. All See right, you. guys. Bye-bye.